We're sisters, sisters and, and together, together we're crumbs. We both like cooking and, and we, we love food and chocolate and red wine. One of my fondest childhood memories was this amazing uh, fairy tale castle cake that my mum made me when I was about six or seven. And when I had a little girl, I decided I was going to make that cake for her too. And it is literally, it looks like a fairy tale castle, but you can eat it. What I've realised about making cakes is it's all about the construction. It's all about the icing. You can make anything rotten look good. <laughs> this is not going to be rotten, it's going to be amazing. So go. two packs of butter, 500 grams of caster sugar. We need to cream the butter and sugar together. And you have to start off slow, otherwise it will spin everywhere. So the idea is for this to be cream and fluffy and very light. As you see now, that's really changed colour. It's gone from being quite yellowy to much, much paler. So that's kind of how you know it's done. Now, I'm going to need eight large eggs. So if you can beat those eggs, and we'll gradually mix them in. So pour in a bit at a time and I'll have this on slow. I think you always need two people to make a cake. Absolutely. Don't you? It makes it so much easier. Half that, yeah? Half of the cake. Perfect. Yeah. Rest all that. Two teaspoons of vanilla essence. measure the flour out. I'm just putting baking powder in here. Fresh packet because it goes off if you leave it open so you must always try and use fresh baking powder if you want your cake to rise. I'm just going to mix it through so that the um, baking powder and the flour is combined. So can you stick half the flour in? Yeah. And I'll whisk, whisk it in. We don't sieve. That's a, a family we policy. Never <laughs> heavy at the moment. I'm going to just pour some milk in, about maybe three or four tablespoons at room temperature, and that will just loosen it ever so slightly. Oh, it's lovely and light. Yeah. Two. And that's the last one. So now we just kind of level the cake down. So anyway, in the oven. And I'm going to put it in for 35 minutes and I'll check after then and see if it needs a bit more. I'm just going to heat this up and I'm going to just melt the chocolate over the top but it's important that your bowl doesn't touch the water. We'll just leave that for a second and we'll go and get our cones ready. So all that um, white chocolate's now melted and I'm just going to get a cone. So these might look like humble ice cream cones. They're actually gonna to be towers for my fairy tale castle. So I find it easier if I stick my fingers in the cone, use a big spoon to drapes it over and then swivel as I go. Pour and swivel. Important to be quick with this because the chocolate starts to, if you see it gets a bit kind of thicker to work with. And then I'm going to finish these off as well with some pink sprinklies. Right, let's wait for those to set. So baking sometimes can go a tiny bit wrong and as you would see I wanted this cake to come out of the oven like the other one did, nicely domed, but it's actually slightly sunken. But if that happens to you, fear not because the magic ingredient is, not my sister, <laughs> although I am quite magical, uh, just buy some of these because this is just normal shop-bought Sainsbury's Madeira cake. Um, and what I'm going to do is when this is cooled down, I'm going to kind of like fill in the gap with this because it will hold up properly when we get to ice it. So as I've said before, with a birthday cake for a child, it doesn't really matter too much what it looks like on the inside. As long as you can cut it, as long as you can serve it, because there's nothing you can't disguise. Smoke and mirrors, people. Smoke and mirrors. But that isn't where the cheating ends because <laughs> you need to have towers for your castle. I use just shop-bought Battenberg cake and it's great because it's the perfect size for a tower. So I just cut it about that high and because it's covered in marzipan it makes it really easy to ice because sometimes when you ice cake that's been cut um, you get lots of crumbs in the icing. So I'm literally going to just glue four towers onto each of the corners of the cake. There we go, one there. It's like a craft project isn't it? And then there you have the castle, they do look all slightly odd shapes, but hey. A lot of birthday cakes have buttercream icing on them and that's just butter and icing sugar and you can put food colouring in it and it's great and it works really well. For this cake, it's going to be kind of like a fairy tale princess castle, I'm going to do a meringue icing. So what you need to do is six egg whites and then I'm going to put them on top of this pan of just simmering water. It's got a glass heat proof pan on top that's not touching the water. With 375 grams sugar, a tiny pinch of salt. I'm just going to whisk it for another minute off the heat. So 
now, you have to work quite quickly because it sets quite quickly. And using a palette knife, I'm just gonna ice the cake. You know, you could do it really um, flat, or you could do it with a bit of character like I'm doing. <laughs> a few peaks. Who wants bland when you can have characterful icing? I wish I'd had a film to follow when I first made it because it's quite nerve wracking making a cake like this. But actually, there's always a sneaky shortcut. There's always sequins and baubles you can put on the cake to make it look good. This is great because it covers the bottom line really yeah. well. Yeah, any icing splodges. If you were doing a, a chocolate fork cake, you could use matchmakers and then you could use chocolate buttons or anything like that. You have to work quite quickly because you need the icing to kind of act as a polyfiller so you can stick all your bits <laughs> and bobs on. And now for the moment of crowning glory. Ta da What I've learned about doing this cake is there's no such thing as too much. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cover this top bit where the candles go and kind of pink glitter, which I will pretend is magic fairy dust to my children. Oh, it looks amazing. And there you have it. Fairy tale castle cake. Birthday cakes, they are something that you're supposed to do for your children. Do you buy yours? Do you make them? Have you had any disaster successes? If so, we'd love to hear about it. We'd love to see it too. Send us pictures. Yeah, send us um, some pictures. At Crumbs Food or tweet us at Crumbs Food. <laughs> or below. comment below or subscribe. And subscribe. Do both. I wonder if this actually works. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> we're sisters and, and together, together we're crumbs. We both like cooking and, and we, we love, love food and chocolate and red wine. <laughs>